Good morning, world from Fujisan. Wow, look at it. It's amazing, isn't it? It's so thick. Morning is definitely the best time to view this side of the mountain. What do you think of that snow story? So good. Can you so believe? Clear. Can you believe people are climbing that? I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't think people will climb it often. Let's save that for another trip, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we today are going to the Teddy Bear Museum. <laughs> it's about twenty past eight in the morning. It takes a little while to get going in the camper van when you've got three people to get dressed and things like that. So <laughs> we've been up about 45 minutes but only just emerged from the van and we are walking to the 7-Eleven to use the toilet and to pick up a hot coffee and some breakfast for us all. Can you believe that we've been here like two and a half days and we still haven't touched a vending machine? We've seen them around a lot and you can actually get hot drinks from a vending machine. This is why we decided to stay here last night. And the 7-Eleven has a toilet. It does, yeah. Very important, isn't it? Yeah. To find a toilet. This is where we parked. You can pretty much park at any of these kind of public parking spots. They're quite large. And I had a really, really good sleep. Did you? I've had the most hours sleep in the last few months yeah, sleeping no, in this van. Yeah. And in 7 Elevens, you're allowed to just come in and use the toilets. They're very clean. The toilet seats are amazing here. I'm sure you've heard of Japanese toilet seats. They're warmed and they've got warm water in them, so you can just sit on it and warm your butt. It's quite <laughs> cold today, so I'll be doing that. <laughs> okay, we've got our morning coffee and we're walking through this beautiful autumnal looking park right behind where we parked. Yamanakako. Park. This is the one of the five lakes of Fuji. There's five beautiful lakes around the mountain on this side and we've seen two of them so far. We came here last night to see the swan boat. This is also known as Swan Lake. Yeah. So yeah, there are swans and, here. And if you saw the last video, I have a, a swan friend in the river. <laughs> yeah, you, the swan lake. you fed him some food, didn't we? His name is Puff. <laughs> yeah, he named him Puff. Yeah. <laughs> Dory's just spotted her swans. <laughs> this is the swan boat we were talking about. We're actually here too early in the morning. The first boat doesn't leave for about another 45 minutes. <laughs> too late for last night, yeah. too early for this morning. Yeah. Lying down. Fuji's looking stunning this morning. This is the most amount of snow that we've seen on it. We've got about a two hour drive to our next destination, our next stop on the trip. So once we've had our little breakfast, we're gonna head off and start the drive. Look at these awesome trees. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we don't get at home. If this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, we are a British family that moved to Asia about three years ago. We live on a beautiful tropical island in the Philippines, but this is our first time exploring Japan. So obviously it's very hot in the Philippines. We don't get seasons like this. We don't get autumn or winter. So once a year, we plan to come to a country where we can get a little bit more of this as well. So we get a balanced lifestyle. Last winter, we visited Seoul in Korea, and that was really cool, really cold this year. Japan in the autumn. <laughs> I got so much out. So he's having a mandarin <laughs> agar <laughs> jelly for breakfast. How does it taste? I like Orbeez in my mouth. Orbeez in your mouth. <laughs> you know, they're like little balls. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What you mean the texture is like Orbeez? Yeah, the texture is like exactly like Orbeez. Okay. When, when I crunch it up, it feels like the Orbeez. But not that you've put Orbeez in your mouth. Mm -mm. I mean, the smoothness feels like Orbeez. I love that it's warm already. Yeah, just get it straight out of the box warm. It's like an Americano. It's like a warm drink too. It's like in a warm fridge. Yeah. It's in a hot fridge. Yeah, please. I saw that. It's nice. Yeah? Yeah, it's like perfect. When you crunch it up, 
good, isn't it? It's very good. We got this from the hot box in the 7-Eleven. This isn't the mochi, this is the steamed bun with red bean. They actually show you what the additives are. So this was the only one that didn't have eggs and milk in it. Or meat. For meat, of course, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes they've got chicken and pork inside. Whoa. Are you okay? Oh! It's a lot of filling. Yeah, it's big. Wow. What does it taste like? It's nice. Good flavour? Yeah. It's interesting. It's slightly sweet. I'm going to tell you how I got this little shrinky dink, I think. I got it from 7-Eleven over there. The man that owns the shop, he came running over saying, Hey, kawaii this! And, and that means, hey, it's cute, right? So he gave it to you as a gift? Yeah. Yeah, show us. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to put it, come, so I can put it on this berth. Bird thing. This is your money purse, yeah? Yeah, this is my money purse. I said aligato. Yeah, when he gave it to you. And that means thank you. Yeah, it's very kind of him, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We are now about 15 minutes out of our destination of the Teddy Bear Museum. It's 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and for the last 10 minutes or so, we've just been driving up this beautiful pine forest oh. road. It's so, so lovely. It's Very nice. scenic. And for half of this drive, we've been saying to each other, we feel like we're back in Portugal. It's very Portuguese looking. How are you finding the drive, Joe? It's easy. It's no different from driving in England or Philippines or anywhere really. <laughs> just yeah, you just go with the flow, don't you? We made it story. <laughs> it's a story stream, isn't it? Yes. You saw it on one of your YouTube videos, didn't you? Minori. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful setting as well. We are in the Ito area. We have a tea room. A little teddy bear cafe. We booked our tickets online for this, so we should be able to just go straight in. And currently, they've got a Totoro exhibit on, which is perfect. Totoro is one of Story's favourites. It's a talking bear. Yeah, it's a Minori song. <laughs> now you're seeing it. <laughs> what can you see up there? Wow! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> that looks so good! This is an exhibit of some of the oldest bears in the world. Over a hundred years old. This one was 1910. That one there? 1905. This one here is the oldest story. White stiff teddy bear. 1905. Oh my gosh! That's really old. It's so clever how all these are moving. It's so clever how they make all these bears move, isn't it? Yeah. Aww, she's playing the violin she's playing the piano. It's <laughs> Spotted him flying. Did you say anything in the carousel? That's supposed to be Totoro spinning on his spinning top, isn't it? That's why he's flying. <laughs> this is an incredibly well designed museum, especially because it's like out in the middle of the prefectures. It's really hard to get here. It's not like it's in a city or anything, and yet there's so much here, so much detail. Kid has bought a balloon. Kid bear. Yeah. We mentioned before in a previous video you can actually build your own bear upstairs but you need to book that like way in advance and we didn't do it in time so we just got access to the museum and the gift shop today. Going upstairs. 
is. Oh, look at all these maize story. Look at all the maize. Yeah, they even made me crabby. Yeah. Can <laughs> you remember that bit? Page. Can you This sick gremlin is flying. Look at him, he's actually flying. And this one, well this one has a stick at the back. This one is literally flying. How is that happening? It must be like a magnet. That, the wind rises, we haven't seen that one yet. And this is the Piaz de Resistance, an actual full-size cat bus that you can go inside and sit down. If anyone's ever watched the Ghibli series or Totoro, so good. I feel so good. This is the dream of anybody. Let's see. Let's see. I, I want to see what's over there. This is amazing. Actually, super soft. It's exactly what you imagine it would feel like sitting in here. You sit on the back seat of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a ride to the Totoro Museum. <laughs> Go back up there, we'll get your picture. Okay. It's so soft in here, isn't it? done the details well on this haven't they? I'm so impressed with all of this. When you exit the cat bus you come into here. It's outside. It's a lovely day. really realistic isn't it? Oh this is resin that hasn't dried yet. It is dry. Of course it's dry yeah. Oh, it's open. Buzzy, buzzy. Keep watching and it'll open. Okay. It's a stone there. Wow the grand reveal. <laughs> a gacha machine is something where there's like a ball inside and you put a coin in and you twist it and a little ball comes out and you open it. In this one, there's a bear inside each one, so it's a surprise. So I'm hoping I get the gold or the pink. Okay, stick these coins in. <gasps> Let's see, what did you get? Bro! Oh, <laughs> nice! Your first gacha. Shall we see what the fortune says? Tell you what you got. Great luck. You've got great luck, have you? Fantastic. It's gonna be it's gonna be a mask. It's really hard. Look. It's yeah. like, it's like what Minori did. It's the same bear. Oh look, I found the fluffy gachima. This is exactly what you were looking for, isn't it? Is using her birthday money. So each pom pom bear was 1980 yen, which is almost 11 pounds, I think, in English money. And once you buy them, you get a little dress to choose from as well. You can dress them up at the little table, you can take a photo shoot of them, 
at the little studio shot zone over there. After you're done at the dressing table and you followed all the instructions, you can actually find out how tall they are. It's very cute. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I think I've hit the thing. Oh, I think I've hit this bit in too far. There's an armhole. Oh, no. Oh, it's very, very sweet. You're too cute. This is their birthday. Oh, lovely. Story wanted to be exactly today's date. The cotton box, yeah. One day? Yeah. Story's getting an analysis on pom pom bear. He's in there. Yeah, he's, he's in the MRI machine. <laughs> he's in the clinic. Oh. I want to eat lots of delicious food. Yeah. So, so he's hungry. Oh. Yeah, he's hungry, yeah. In he goes. She, she needs to sleep. She's a sleepy bear. She's sleepy. <laughs> There's a teddy clinic set up here as well in case you're. Teddy needs an IV. <laughs> and this? For seeing the doctor. And then weigh, look, you can weigh them. Do you want to weigh your bears? Oh See how many grams he is. 60 grams. Wow. You're heavy. 60? Oh, they're the same. Oh, very good. There's even a bear beauty salon. <laughs> oh, I know how this works. Do you? They have a hairdryer. Oh, yeah, it's there, look. So you can get all of the dust. We're now sitting in Teddy's garden in the cafe. We spent two and a half hours going around the museum and the cafe and the gift shop and everything. We've been in there two and a half hours and now we're having a lovely coffee. There is teddy bears on everything. It's so cute. Sorry, little spoon there. It's really lovely. Story's got an apple tea. This came with it. <laughs> And I have to say, this museum was so much better than I thought it would be. Incredibly well made. Service was impeccable. It was just really good for something that's outside of the city. I'm super impressed. Well, I highly recommend that place. Even if you don't have kids, there were loads of adults in there. I can't I saw, I saw your face and you were like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've been looking for one of the Japanese characters, yeah. which looks like Poppy, and I haven't seen it anywhere until today. <laughs> the cute place had the cute symbol. This was so nice. Very nice. I really enjoyed it. And we were there for three and a half hours. Yeah. Leisurely pace. And yeah, there's more adults in there than kids. So it's Definitely. not like a child's thing, but still we loved it. Yeah. So much to look at, so much to see. Everything's really good quality. Coffee was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice. Very enjoyable afternoon. And the shout out for today goes to Liam Williams. Huge thank you to Liam for becoming a member of our channel. Makes a big difference. If you want to become a member yourself, hit the join button down below. And I'm going to end the video for today. Bye. See you next time. Bye.